so we're going to focus on z index today and trying to figure out how exactly z index works um so let's write some code we're going to use three boxes let's say div class um for the um red box yeah, let's use a yellow box first yellow box and then repeat three times okay so we have three boxes now i'm uh, just going to change this to okay so let's make this one a red box and let's make this an orange box so we have three boxes and now let's start the boxes so um for the yellow box um would have let's okay so the thing about z index is that you always have to give every element a position it has to be explicitly positioned and that means that you have to give it a position that is not static which is the default position so this time we're giving it absolutely we can also give it relative and then fixed and sticky those are the other positions that we can give it so now let's give it a width a width of 300 pixels height of 300 pixels as well and um background color this said it was a yellow box we're just going to give it yellow and yeah so let's start all the other boxes as well command c command v um okay so this this is this would be red and oh yeah we have two under two two so this will be red red and orange orange and orange as well and then index yeah so let's burn it and see so yeah this is good so that means it well it looks like our orange box is covering all the other boxes so that we can't see them because they're the same height width and they are all absolutely positioned so let's try and change that by adding um okay here we can add like top 60 pixels so we can like separate them give them space between each other so you can see the all the boxes 60 pixels and then here we can add like top 120 pixels and then left 120 pixels okay so let's run it again okay look at what we have now but we want to use the index to make this red box go in front of the this red box go in front of all the other boxes so let's try and use the index to do that so we have you can put here z index something like one and then z index here something like two and then we're going to put a higher number here like 30 because we want it to stay on top of everything else and let's see good it stays on top of everything else and that's how z index works we want to i want you to understand that z index works um by using the stacking order of elements along the z axis that means in the three-dimensional way which is like this way and not in the x and y axis so let's try something else let's now make this yellow box this yellow box here the first box stay on top of everything else so that means we have to change this z index to like one and then change this z index to mm, let's use 100 voila so yeah basic basic way of how z index works so let's not get confused you always have to position your elements and yeah 